Okay, today we're going to be looking at the cut command, which is a basic command we use all the time, at least I use all the time. Real quick, I've created a file here called file.txt. I'll go in and have a look at it. It contains seven lines. One's an empty line. We've got two lines that I consider headers, uh, giving these little sections here. This one's saying this is a file. This one's saying new section. Then we have... Uh, this, I just created this for this uh, tutorial. The questions or comments, I guess. Uh, this is a test, and then the answer is yes. Uh, this is not a test. The answer is no. And dividing up the, the statements and the uh, response by a uh, pipe symbol. So what I could do if I wanted to, let's say, just get all the questions, I could say um, cut... I can say cat file.txt, so we're catting out the file, which displays the file. I can now pipe that into cut with a delimiter of pipe and field one, so it'll only show things on the left side of this pipe. I'll hit enter there, and we get only the things on the left side of the pipe on the lines with the pipe symbols, so you notice we don't have the no or the yes in these sections here. But we're also getting the lines that we don't care about, the, the, the empty line and the, um, sec the titles of the sections. So I, what we could do here is before we cut it, we could always grep for lines. Well, let me remove the cut so you can see this. We're grepping only the lines with the pipe symbol. And then we can say cut with a delimiter of pipe and field one. So there we go, we get the output we want. That's kind of a long command. We're actually running three separate uh, processes here, or cat, and then grep, and then cut, where all could really be done with just cut. It's not the only way of doing this. Uh, there are other techniques, but let's just see how we could do it with the cut command. We're gonna say cut-d backslash um, the pipe symbol. So the pipe symbol is our delimiter. We're gonna say f1 and then we're going to give it the file name. So there's no need to cat. That's a bad habit of mine. Obviously, I, I've known this for a while. You probably all know this. I have a tendency to cat everything into both cut and grep, where both don't need to be catted in. So there you go. We got uh, everything on the left side of the pipe, on the lines of the pipe, but we're still getting the lines that we don't care about, our titles in the empty line. Um, so what we could do is adding to this cut command, we can add in a dash s. The dash s says only show the lines containing the delimiter. So it will ignore all lines that don't have a pipe symbol. So at this point I can hit enter and you can see we get the output that we're looking for. Which is the same output we got up here but doing it all with one command rather than three commands piped into each other. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, dash s tells cut to only display lines containing the delimiter that you've stated here which could be any single character. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, I hope that you have a great day, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.